Howdy, folks. All right, so you've hopefully picked up your little motor kit. And inside the baggie, you'll have a piece of bare copper wire and a couple of magnets that are stuck together. The one other thing you have to provide is you have to provide a AAA battery. Okay. And it also helps if you use a set of needle nose pliers, but you don't have to, but it might be useful to have something like that handy. All right, so here's what you do. <coughs> you take your AAA battery, you take your two magnets, and what I recommend you do is I recommend you take the positive side of the battery, that's the side with the little uh, nub at the end of it sticking out like that, and I recommend that you connect your magnets right there onto that little uh, bump, that little nub on the end, right there like that. Okay, and then you have to kind of balance it very carefully like this, and have the positive side down, have the negative flat side up, and then you have to take your bare copper wire and you have to bend it into a shape, uh, I recommend bending it into a shape kind of like this, okay? This is very helpful. You gotta have kind of like a little uh, a little um, bend in it and right there. You'll see where that goes in a, in a minute, right there in the middle. And then on the bottom, I found that it's very helpful if you uh, kind of have the two ends overlap a little bit, but they're, that they're kind of separated just by a little bit like that. So it's almost kind of springy. And the reason why I think this is helpful is because what you do is this little divot right here, you're going to put that right on the end of the battery, okay, the top end of the battery. And these two little itty bitty uh, ends right here where they're kind of separated to the side, right in this little gap right here, let me get my thumb in there, uh, right in this little gap right here between them, right there where my thumbnail is, that's where you're going to put the magnets, okay? And so let me see, I'm gonna try and do this one-handed. Don't know how successful I'm gonna be at it, uh, but if you can get it on there and you can get everything connected, then you can get a current to flow. Whoops, takes a little bit of doing. It's, it's a little tricky with two hands. It's really tricky with one hand, but I'll give it another try. All right, and we'll just kinda of shut that there like this. There we go, and then let it go. You may, and you want to make sure that at the bottom here you have good electrical contact between the wires and the magnet. So you may have to kind of fiddle, you may have to give it a little tiny push or something like that. Oops. And if you can get it set just right, it will start to rotate. Here, let me just hold this with my thumb right here. There we are. There you go, and right there, you got your homopolar motor. And it just runs all on its own, according to the right-hand rule of magnetic forces. So, it'll take a little practice to get it, okay? Play around with it. Uh, if you have any questions, ask your teacher. And uh, hope you have some fun with your own little electric motor that you're going to make at home. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, at least it ran for a little while. All right, good luck. Go Team Physics.